Hi guys! Today we are going to talk about value. Value. Value in art is not the same as value like with money. No, no it's not. Um, value in art is talking about a light source, okay? And when things look like they're going from light to dark, okay? So if your light source, we'll say it's the sun, is here, then whatever's closest to the sun, the light source, is going to be the lightest value, the lightest color. Then as it gets a little bit farther away, it'll get a little bit darker and darker and very dark and then super dark the farthest away it gets from the light. So I'm going to show you today how we can add value into a couple objects by having a light source also. So here we go. First, let's draw this beautiful ball, okay? So we got this beautiful ball, and we're going to imagine that our light source is coming from this direction. So somewhere outside our paper, the sun is shining on this ball. Now, it just looks like a plain circle, but we're going to add value to make it look three-dimensional, to really give it some depth. And today I'm going to show you how to add value using an ebony pencil. It's just like a black, soft colored pencil almost. So with this, you're just going to want to start at the darkest spot in the ball, the spot that is the farthest away from the light. Okay, so it's the opposite. So I'm just going to color in the bottom of my ball, and I'm pressing pretty hard to make it super dark, okay? Then as I start getting closer to the light source, I'm going to start lightening my pencil. I'm going to just press lighter. Maybe I'll move my fingers farther back on the pencil to help me not press as hard. And I'm getting closer and closer to that light source, so I'm just going to keep pressing lighter and lighter. And then I get so close that I'm barely even touching the paper. It's really light. And when you get the closest to the light source, you cannot do anything at all, or you could just do a couple of light marks. And then you can finish off going around the edges. Maybe you want to make them a little bit darker. Maybe you feel like you should go back over it. Okay, this is what's really going to make some of your artwork look three-dimensional and really make it stand out. All right? If you want, this can be up above and beyond, you could even add a shadow here. So maybe there's a little circle shadow underneath your ball. And this you're going to color completely black. Why? Because it is the farthest away from your light source. Therefore it should be the darkest spot. There you go. All right, leave me a comment if you can tell me what would like the darkest color be called and then what would the lightest color be called. We will do another video um, using those terms. So leave it in the comments if you know what the darkest color would be called and what the lightest color would be called when we're adding value. Thanks. Have fun.